Hi, this is Dave King, President and CEO of Steel City Drones and Steel City Drones Flight Academy. The video that you're about to watch was filmed back in February before the coronavirus has reached the levels that it has. We would like to be able to continue with new fresh content. So anything that you would like to be able to see or ask, please let us know. We want to be able to try to create as much creativity to give you content as much as possible. So with that said, enjoy this video and stay safe. This video, we're gonna be talking about all the questions we get regarding, should I get an aircraft, a drone, with RTK built into it? What is RTK? When should I be considering getting it? How does it work? What does it cost? And what are the advantages of having it? And what happens if I don't? We're gonna talk about all that and be very comprehensive as possible. It all starts with understanding how a normal drone works and functions. 99% of all drones on the market have a consumer grade GPS system built inside it. No better than your average cell phone. Now that uses a compass for heading. That compass is very susceptible to different environments that can cause it to stop working or it can cause the drone to do things that it definitely should not be doing. So what ends up happening when this happens? So let's talk about how a normal GPS system works. It gets all the satellites in the sky, gets a GPS lock, and that helps really plant and center the drone and for position hold. So a normal drone works if it's in position hold, will just hover in the air like it's a tripod in the sky without moving at all. And theoretically, you can have your hands off the controls and the aircraft doesn't move. That's how a normal aircraft should work. When it starts getting compromised, it may not even allow you to take off the ground or you can get out there and start your flying your mission, everything seems to be good, and then the further you get out, it might start acting a little more erratically. What ends up happening, it can start moving around almost like something like this, a little tiny circle. We call it the toilet bowl effect. Or it might actually start just drifting away and not holding at all. And most likely what's end up happening then is the aircraft's automatically switching you from position hold into manual mode. If it's a DJI aircraft, it's gonna most likely gonna put you in addy mode. So that's short for attitude. So if you are someone that is a, flying around a lot of high concentrations of metal, whether it be industrial plants, bridges, railroads or high tension power lines like utility lines working doing inspection work for utility companies those are the applications where when you would want to use rtk technology how it works is it uses a base station with an antenna on it and a receiver that gets those satellites from the sky and what happens is on the aircraft equipped with rtk it has two antenna pucks on it and those two antenna pucks will triangulate with the ground station back and forth and that's how it gets its positioning how it holds it and it doesn't use a compass for heading so without the compass it removes a lot of these problems inherently with environmental issues so that's how it works that's why it that's that's a major advantage to that another major advantage is if you're trying to do mapping Let's talk about an average drone. An average drone has a barometric pressure sensor inside it. When there's a strong wind gust on it, that aircraft can drop down or even go even rise slightly and it can drop down as much as seven to 10 feet and higher wind gusts. We've seen that. With an RTK equipped version of aircraft, we have not seen that move hardly at all. I mean, we're talking inches of variation, and that's gonna help you from mapping on the Z-axis. We want no variation along that Z-axis when it's going across. And that's why the Phantom 4 Pro RTK version is very, very popular. If you are not in a uh, situation where you don't necessarily need the RTK, you can use the internal GPS that's built inside it and simply not use the base station and turn off the RTK function inside the app. 
it's that simple. So that way you don't always have to add the extra step for workflow and setup time to be able to use an aircraft like that. So and that can be another reason why it's a little more portable. The cost on them can be significantly more. It's you're talking at least minimal several thousands of dollars or more. And again, you're going to have to have that base station in there. Now, one question that's always asked is, can I get an aircraft? Can I buy it without it and then upgrade it later? And that the answer is no. You always have to get the versions with RTK up front. Now, a lot of public safety will ask us, do I need to buy it or do they really want to buy it because they're not sure? So my recommendation is if you have a budget where you can buy, let's say, two Matrace or more, then I would consider getting one 210 RTK version of that and one without. Or, and again, if you're in those situations where you're doing a lot of commercial applications and you're in those things that we're talking about, then that would be the appropriate time. So with that said, that's everything in a nutshell about RTK. If you have any questions, like always, ask us below. And if you haven't, please hit our, the subscribe button on our channel. Help us grow the channel. Um, one lucky uh, subscriber on our channel is going to win a Mavic Mini. So look, for, look out for that. And thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.